Hi guys, George Roberts here, Head of Sales at Clear Ads, and this is our sixth weekly video. And this week I'm going to touch upon budgets and how you decide your budgets moving forward if you're a new seller, if you're an experienced Amazon seller, or if you even have a new product that you're hoping to decide a budget for and what that might look like and how you can possibly scale those campaigns moving forward. Budgets is such an important topic as it allows and facilitates the growth of your campaigns. And if they are too restrictive, then ultimately you're actually not going to grow those campaigns to the, to the state you want them to be. Many things that you need to consider before creating a budget is, of course, your price point, what's going to be your average order value, what your margins are, um, and that's going to be the main thing. Ultimately, if you're not even sure of what your margins might be um, and what how many items you need to sell or the percentage of profit you are able to make off Amazon, that is a huge factor. Many things come into play, uh, such as your FBA fees, um, the actual price of manufacturing, uh, delivery costs to even get to Amazon, and then you have to look at your ad costs on top of that as well. Ultimately, you never want your advertising budget to be eating into your profit margins, and ultimately, your budget for ads should be equated for even before you start your PPC, because as we all know, it is essential to driving success on the platform. And it's something you really do need to account for. Now, if you the, the, the easiest way to evaluate budget from our understanding is just to work out your total A cost. So your so your total advertising cost of sales. So if you had a budget of £10,000 and you could operate at a 25% ACOS um, or total ACOS, sorry, that would mean you are able to spend £2,500 on advertising, allowing you to drive your advertising, increasing the discoverability of your products, increasing sales and therefore increasing revenue. Now, these would also have to be levels um, of expectations that are realistic and levels of budget that again aren't going to eat into your margins ultimately we know that advertising helps improve rank um, improve sales improve ranking organically and therefore it's a cycle that really helps businesses drive success on Amazon, but you don't want to start off from a starting budget that isn't going to deliver any success for your brand so what i've said to new sellers is ensure you're focusing on your main product know that know your target a cost for at least one of your products and you can build momentum on that campaign and then build the campaigns around your other product line as well um, you'll have a deeper understanding of what's working for you deeper understanding of how much you can spend and also a deeper understanding of advertising itself ultimately the goal is to have that budget in place but then to be optimizing on those budgets and optimizing performance just to ensure those budgets go for longer so optimizing on ACOS, ensuring your ads are more profitable and improving your ROAS to ensure you get a bigger return on the ad spend that you, uh, you are putting in place for those campaigns. Now, the one thing that a lot of sellers do is implement spending caps on their budgets initially. Now, of course, this is a great way to ensure your budgets are capped and you're staying in line with those budgets. But what we would recommend or what I would recommend is have these spending caps in place. But if you are able to increase these spending caps without and still remain within your budget, this will allow these campaigns that are really performing well to thrive. This is again, I'm touching upon the optimization of your campaigns that which will allow the best ones to grow, flourish, and the ones that aren't performing so well, reduce the biz and ensuring you're staying in line with the budgets that you have set in place. However, like I mentioned at the start of this video, the best way to work out your advertising budget is to understand your total ACOS and what you are able to achieve. Optimizing on these goals and optimizing on the performance of these campaigns is the best way to ensure you are in line with your budget. Now, I have seen a lot of content out there which actually recommends around about 10% of total revenue to have towards your ad, ad spend or your ad budgets, which is totally fine. Um, and it does facilitate growth if that's what you keep in place for, forever. Automatically, you will be able to scale your advertising to keep in line with your growth as a company but ultimately understanding your total advertising cost of sales is the best way to understand what budgets you can implement across the board understanding what budgets you can have for your targeting campaigns or your defense campaigns or your 
sponsored product campaigns, sponsored display, or even sponsored brands. Ultimately, you're gonna have to decide what works best for your product and your brand moving forward. Um, and that's what you're gonna have to optimize for and optimize the results for as you progress with Amazon advertising. Setting a budget is there to be put in place to, to in, that needs to be adhered to, but also, the one thing you need to set for a budget is allowing growth and allowing scalability with that spend as well. If you're gonna to be too restrictive, ultimately you're not gonna grow. And if you are too lax or you spend too much money, then ultimately you're not gonna get a return on advertising spend. So it's finding that sweet spot. And ultimately that is a job in itself, optimizing for those campaign goals as you uh, move forward and as your brand does grow. Um, I do hope this video has helped and provided some value um, for you. I know there probably will be a lot of questions, so feel, please feel free to reach out, obviously message me on LinkedIn or just send me a message. Um, yeah, more than happy to touch base and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you very much for your time and this video. Take care.